Hey everyone, this is Alex and today I'm going to show you how to connect your Canon camera to your Windows machine to adjust a USB cable. Canon has just released the EOS webcam utility. If your camera is in this list, then it's compatible. It's in beta, so it might not work for everything. And we'll see how it is right now. I'll show you. So you go to the website and you download the file. Basically, you will click on the DSLR or mirrorless camera that you have. You go into drivers. So in my case, I'll take the 5D Mark II. So that was an old video. If you want to see it, <laughs> check it out. So Mark IV. And you have over here, the US webcam utility beta for Windows. You select this and you click download. Download that to your machine and wait. Once downloaded, just double click on it and start the installation process. You know how to install a software, right? Next, 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 accept, next, next, next. It's done. Once done, reboot your machine. You'll just need a USB cable Obviously your camera has to be power on and you need to have a full battery, why not? Put your camera in video mode, adjust the brightness, for example the ISO, and then connect the cable to the camera and after that connect the cable to your machine. Right now the EOS webcam utility is only available in Windows and is only in beta. No Mac version right now is available. The EOS webcam utility is not a software at it. It is actually a driver. What is a driver? No, not, not a driver like that, but more or less. For example, when you connect a printer with a USB cable mostly, Windows will recognize the printer and it will use a driver to connect to the printer. So a driver is simply some code that is used to connect a machine to another machine. In our case, it's gonna connect the camera to the computer. So you can't start the US webcam utility. It's a driver. On the other hand, if you installed on your machine the US utility, the normal software for the Canon, you have to close it. And sometimes, in some case, uh, the US utility can start by itself if you configure it like that. So you need to exit. Right click on the icon on the notification tray and exit the software. Now I'm going to compare this camera, which is the webcam with that camera that is filming right now. So this is the webcam with the laptop, with the sound of the laptop. You can probably see that there's a small difference. Although that right now I am in a studio with lights, we'll compare without lights later. So how do we configure it in, for example, OBS? Let's do it. So just to compare, I'm gonna add the camera in OBS, I'm gonna add the webcam in OBS, and we'll compare. So let's add the video capture device. I'm gonna write laptop cam okay and I can see the cam right now and I'll just click okay I think uh, everything default is nice I think let's put it in a size that is not too much and then you have exactly the result of the cam now let's connect the camera with the laptop and install it on the laptop. You will see your camera being visible in mobile machines and not in the camera category if you go to the peripherals. So I'm going to add the Canon to the capture source. Let's go right here. Video capture device. And unfortunately, I cannot record the sound at the same time while it's plugged in the USB. I'm going to create a new. We're going to call it Canon USB. And then in your device, it will have US Webcam Utility Beta. And we'll keep everything default. OK. I can see myself. I can see myself. I have to look at the same time though. The quality is there.
but I believe that the sound is actually only the sound from the laptop and that maybe the sound cannot go through USB. I'm not sure, we'll have to see in the future. So let's try without the studio lights just to see how is it. It's actually not that bad. Now let's see the laptop cam. Can you see the noise here? Oh my god, look. Oh, look the other side, the other side. Look at the noise. Look at the noise in this corner over here. This is terrible. But obviously it is webcam. Obviously with the camera it's way better. I'm looking at here. There's a little bit of noise in any way because this is I think ISO 800 but it's way less visible. So we're back with the lights. Of course this is beta software so you'll have to try it out if you have some time. If not wait for the full release. Let's say you go in messenger you want to make a call and you will not actually see Canon there. I'm going to try it again with a new battery just to be sure. It's still in beta, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. The other thing is, is there a way that we could have the sound too? That would be awesome because right now it's only the video feed. If we could get the sound too, that would be perfect. Hopefully you liked the video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you like this video and if you want to have news about any future Canon release. On that note, take care guys, Alex out. And the sound of a webcam, well the sound of the CPU.